former New York City COVID czar fired after admitting to sex parties drug use. Tonight, New York City's former COVID czar fired from his private sector job after he was caught on hidden camera admitting he attended multiple sex parties during the pandemic in defiance of his own public safety protocols. Do you think you'd have gotten like a hard time if like the popular like New York City found out that you're having sex parties during COVID? Ah, New York City, welcome back. Is everything with you guys? All group sex and rampant drug use? While he was sending you in the house when the streetlights came on, he was running through your city, jumping from freak off to freak off. I wonder what type of drugs were being passed around that party. I hope it wasn't cocaine, because Toucan Sam over here looks like he can sniff the green off of a dollar bill, sniff the ink off of a dollar bill, sniff the majestic bald eagle off of a dollar bill. Dr. Jay Varma, who was recorded in an undercover video admitting to having participated in sex parties and using illegal drugs in violation of COVID policies that he helped to write, has been terminated from his high-level corporate job. Why would he tell that to anyone? That's something that you only tell your wife, maybe, if you like your wife. But if you really feel like you've got to get it off your chest, you tell your dog. You tell your goldfish. Other than that, lip sealed. That's the latest development in an ongoing story involving New York. York City's it's not the Big Apple anymore it's the Big Orgy now former senior health advisor the news came in a filing from the medical technology company Sega Technologies to the Securities and Exchange Commission late Monday the SEC afternoon the filing read in part the board of directors terminated Dr. Jay Varma effective immediately we don't even want you in a building we'll mail you your stuff Dr. Jay Varma appears to have been secretly recorded in this heavily edited undercover video released by conservative podcaster Steven Crowder. The fallout leading to termination from his job at Siga Technologies, a pharmaceutical company where he served as executive vice president and chief medical officer. The company did not respond to multiple requests for comment. For the folks out there that actually lost their jobs, that had years and years on these jobs or face some other type of repercussions, this is still very fresh in their heads. It really wasn't that long ago for this guy to be running around being the city's biggest hypocrite. You know he wasn't wearing any face coverings. You can't eat ass with a mask. The termination happened hours after a group of about 100 city workers who'd been dismissed from their jobs for not following COVID vaccination mandates and other COVID protocols held a rally on the steps of City Hall. I told you people were mad, man. They were joined by some members of the New York City Council who called themselves the Common Sense Caucus. They said that an undercover video of Varma released last week by the conservative website Louder with Crowder was damning against Dr. Varma, Gonzo the Snaz. In the video, the former senior health advisor says that while the rest of the city had been ordered to socially distance under his direction, mask up under his direction, and get vaccinated, he was at group sex parties and other gatherings. Varma also says in the video that he was using MDMA, an illegal drug commonly called Molly, at a gathering. Me personally, pandemic, no pandemic, I was social distancing anyway because, well, you know, people but if you remember there were folks who didn't buy into this at all they were kind of annoying then you had the people who bought the whole cow and was actually calling the police on their neighbors because their neighbors were in their own homes entertaining company because their neighbors were next door in a fenced in backyard barbecuing him and his colleagues from across the country played a major part in shilling for this control grab Brendan Fogarty a firefighter who lost his FDNY job over not having having complied with the city's COVID vaccination mandate, spoke at the city hall rally in an interview afterward. Fogarty, who regained his job after retiring and reapplying, called Varma's on-camera admissions disturbingly hypocritical. Absolutely. I could care less what he does, said Fogarty, who is also involved in the group Firefighters for Choice, but he affected my freedom and my ability to make a living. Michael Kane, a classroom teacher who lost his position over non-compliance with vaccine mandates, helped to organized the rally with city council member Robert Holden. My God, what a hypocrite he is. One Democratic city council member not holding back, slamming Varma. When he's caught, he's blaming the right wing media. I mean, this guy is what a dirtbag. Let me know in the comments, did your job push for you to get the vaccine? Fortunately, my job did not push for me to get the vaccine. And after seeing the adverse side effects that happened in a lot of people, I wouldn't have took it anyway. That just would have been the end of me working there. But you can see 
how this definitely divided the country. It divided cities. It divided communities. It divided people in social settings and it divided people in the workplace. After the rally, Kane referenced some of the comments that the so-called COVID czar has heard making in the hidden video. Dr. Jay Varma said he had to be involved in drug-fueled sex parties. No, he didn't, which I don't care about, said Kane. You do. You're mad. But he said he needed that to be his authentic self. But what about my authentic self as a teacher? What about me? What about you? What about us? What are we going to do? Some members of the city council are now calling on Mayor Eric Adams to reinstate and compensate the city workers who lost their jobs over COVID-19 policy violations. I'm very comfortable being around other men, two men and a woman and stuff like that. I don't actually get, I don't get turned on by other men, but I don't get turned off. So I've had men kind of play with me and stuff like that and I feel totally comfortable with it. And there are times it feels good because there's sort of like a different type of energy, right. but it's not, but it has to be in the right mindset. I have to be French, but I'm very comfortable with it, and it's super fun, and it's actually really fun for to be with two guys in a while. It's like super fun. Yeah, I don't know that before, it's but it's really but fun yeah, and stuff like that. Open the books. Cut the check. You give everybody else money. He did not need to be at a drug-fueled sex party. We're lucky he was only doing Molly with the pills missing his mouth completely and going up his nose. Could you imagine him with an eight ball in either nostril looking like a double barrel shotgun? His nose looked like two muffler tips. Common Sense Caucus Council member Christy Marmorado said at the rally that she and other city council members are working on a legislative measure involving the former senior health policy advisor. It's probably might be facing some sort of civil suit. I don't know. It's purpose, she said, bring Dr. Varma in for an oversight hearing to hold him accountable. Absolutely. Varma did not respond to a request for comment that PIX11 News made on Monday afternoon. He did issue a public statement late last week when the hidden video first came out, which said this should be good. Unfortunately, I was targeted by an operative for an extremist right-wing organization determined to malign public health officials and take down the public health system in America. You didn't believe in the own policy that you wrote. You didn't stand by the own policy that you wrote, and you didn't follow the own policy that you helped put into place. I don't care what political agenda you claim it is. This individual has been highly discredited, and he has been banned from numerous media outlets for his homophobic slurs and racist rants. Well, was it not you? Was it AI? Was it doctored in some way? Was it a deep fake? No, it wasn't. Well, what are you really saying then? And those private conversations that were secretly recorded, spliced, dice, and taken out of context, Varma's statement continues, I refer to events that transpired four years ago. That's not a long time ago. I served in City Hall between April 2020, May 2021. During that time, I participated in two private gatherings. What, orgies? I take responsibility for not not using the best judgment at the time. There you have it, kids. Dr. Jay Varma. I know this isn't native to the crime news that I normally do, but I still had to get this off my chest. Tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next video.